Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Hello everyone. I want to welcome you all to our Mass on the fifth Sunday of Easter. We gather around the altar here in our church in Palinkolik via internet, online, to pray together, to, to stay together, to worship God. At this difficult time of the pandemic, we remember in prayer, we pray for the church, for our shepherds, we pray for Pope Francis, for our Bishop Fintan, we remember in prayer all the priests, especially the priests in our parish. We pray for our families, for their intentions, and for our own intentions as well. We pray for the elderly, the sick, for those in hospitals. We pray for those who care for them, and we also pray for those who are dying or already passed away. So let us begin our mass celebration with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So now we'll have our scripture readings, and today the readings will be done by Mary McLean. Please come forward. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. About this time, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenists made a complaint against the Hebrews. In the daily distri distribution, their own widows were being overlooked. So the Twelve called a full meeting of the disciples and addressed them. It would not be right for us to neglect the word of God so as to give out food. You brothers must select from among yourselves seven men of good reputation, 
filled with the Spirit and with wisdom. We will hand over this duty to them and continue to devote ourselves to prayer and to the service of the word. The whole assembly approved of this proposal and elected Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these to the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of the Lord continued to spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem was greatly increased, and a large group of priests made their submission to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with the ten stringed lutes sing his hymn songs. May for the love be, be upon us, O Lord, Lord as we place all our hope. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The Lord is the living stone, rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious to him. Set yourselves close to him so that you too, the holy priesthood that offers the spiritual sacrifices which Jesus Christ has made acceptable to God, may be living stones making a spiritual house. As scripture says, See how I lay in Zion's precious cornerstone that I have chosen, and the man who rests his trust on it will not be disappointed. That means that for you who are believers, it is precious, but for unbelievers, the stone rejected by the builders has proved to be the keystone. A stone to stumble over, a rock to bring men down. They stumble over it because they do not believe in the word was the fate in store for them. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a people set apart to sing the praises of God, who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am now going to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father and then we shall be satisfied. 
Have I been with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father, so how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Please sit for a moment. Let me say only a few words today. We have just heard the words we all know very well. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. I like to use this gospel passage at funeral masses. Today we are listening to these words on the fifth Sunday of Easter. At this time we, we should learn how to follow Jesus, our risen, risen Lord, who is our way, our truth, and our life. Jesus say, says, I am the way. He's calling himself the way. Not, I can show you the way. Not, here is a guidebook to follow. Rather, Jesus says, I am the way. In our families, we learn the way of living as a family. I always admire my friend, Peter. Peter has seven brothers and sisters. Evening meals were always family meals. At the dinner table, conversation flowed. The happenings of the day, upcoming events, work and school. Family activities filled the evenings and the weekends. The mother and father were the way, the models of a family enjoying each other. For Christ to tell us he is the way, that's not so strange. Most of the time, other people show us how to behave with family and with strangers. And Christ says, I am the way. And the last thing, Jesus reminds us not to be troubled but rather to have faith in God. Today we may, we, we should ask ourselves, is there anything bothering you or weighing you down right now? Listen to Jesus telling you, have faith in God. Trust in God still and trust in me. Dear brother, dear sister, have you lost your way and don't know where to go? Listen to Jesus today telling you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And as I said to you two weeks ago, Jesus, the way himself, will stay with us, will stay with you on the way, all the way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So now we will together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we'll have our prayers of the faithful. Let us raise our minds and hearts in prayer to God, the giver and the lover of life. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Let us pray for the grace to hear more clearly the voice of Jesus in our, uh, in our daily lives, so that we too can come through him to the Father. Lord, hear us. In this month of May, we ask Mary, our mother, to pray, our, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies that this great suffering may end and that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted and supported by the love of friends and neighbors. We pray, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those at home who cannot be present with us in this church today who are joining us online. We pray that we will soon have the opportunity to be reunited with our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, in his most holy Eucharist. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those children in our parish preparing for First Communion and Confirmation who have had their day of union with Jesus and the Holy Spirit postponed due to the coronavirus restrictions. We pray, Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick, the elderly, who at this time may be in hospital or housebound, isolated or unable to see or be with their loved ones, we pray, Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. We pray for all those who have lost loved ones during this time of crisis and who have been unable to be with them, grieve for them or be comforted by friends and community, we pray, Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. And we remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. Father, may your love and compassion be constantly with us in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly you pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Fintan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with, ble with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, in Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said through your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So now in silence let us pray for peace, for peace in our hearts, in our homes, in our families, for the peace in the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins
Prince of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As our communion reflection today, we will use a prayer wrote by Pope Francis, prayer for protection from coronavirus. O Mary, you shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, our refuge and our hope, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that, as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among whom, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the blessing, the final blessing, I'd like to thank all those who helped us organize this Mass for the fifth Sunday of, of Easter. I'd like to thank Geraldine, our sacristan, for preparing the church, for ringing, ringing the bell. Um, I'd like to thank Dermot for filming us again and a special thanks this Sunday to Mary McLean who has done the readings for us at this Mass. Thank you very much for that, we really, really appreciate it. I wish you all a lovely Sunday with your families and a nice uh, week ahead. God bless you all. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before you, as I